Hi, my name's Kurt, I'm from Chorus, and I'm here to answer some of those technology questions around Gigatown. You know, what is the technology that's going to be driving Gigatown? At home, you need to have a really high speed connection to the internet. You know, the internet is this huge, enormous, global information superhighway, and to get on the internet, you need a big, fat pipe to get from your house or business, school or hospital, onto the internet. A good analogy, I think, is the motorway system. If we think about the internet as being a global super information highway, we can think about broadband as being the on-ramp. And when you want to get onto that information superhighway, you know, you need a really good sized motorway on-ramp. And that's what high-speed broadband is. Well, if we think back 10 or 15 years ago, many of us would be connecting to the internet on a technology called dial-up. That used copper cable here into your house, and you'd dial up to the internet, and it would work really slow. Then a few years later, along came copper-based broadband, technologies like ADSL, and again, that used this good old trusty copper wire to give you speeds of you know, 5, 10, 15 megabits per second, which was a much faster on-ramp to the internet, but still not quite enough. So now with UFB, it's all based on fiber. So we're deploying fiber to your house, and that means you'll get hundreds of megs up to one gigabit per second, and that means the on-ramp to the information global superhighway is now really enormous. you'll get a download speed, peak speed of one gigabit per second, and an upload speed of 500 megabits per second. That's half a gig. Now these are phenomenally fast speeds. Typical broadband speeds that you get in New Zealand today, 10, maybe 20 megabits per second down, and maybe just one or two megabits per second up. Let's think about schools. You know, for a student in one town, in one school, to be able to have, take a lesson at another school using high definition video conferencing is a great opportunity for kids and the education system. Now if those schools are all connected by fibre, that whole experience will be so much better. Another example, if you're going to a medical centre to doing an ultrasound, that generates an incredibly large file which needs to be sent to your local GP. Now, if your medical center and your GP surgery both have gigabit connectivity, those types of files can be transferred instantly, and that just improves everyone's experience. What about downloading a really large, high-definition video clip? On today's broadband, that might take you even an hour or more. On Gigatown, that'll happen in a minute or two. What about uploading lots of photos to Facebook? You've been on holiday, you want to upload all your photos to share with your social network. Well, on today's broadband, that could take several minutes to upload those photos. On Gigatown, that'll just happen really quickly.